Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. So this out a few days ago, uh, haven't touched on it. I know some YouTubers have. SBI CEO Yoshitaka Katao dropping bombs on Swift, future of XRP and more. Uh, and this is the English version of the video posted by Dylan, that's at Dylan, D-I-L-L-O-N. I will link it in the description for you guys who want to watch this. So merge R3 and Ripple and make sure XRP is practically used. Uh, and so this is a little clip here. Haven't watched these clips. I don't know if these are the same ones or not. This one is a different length, so I'm not sure. But these two are both 220, so uh, not sure. But there are some quotes here that Dylan has posted. Uh, Swift have run out of options. Swift have given up on what they can do internally. We have to have a global standard. If you use Corda Settler with XRP embedded in it, so that's good for Ripple. For Corda R3, it's a win-win. And we, SBI, are the largest shareholders of both. And down here he states, uh, my dream is to have this adopted as a regional currency in Osaka by 2025. Uh, I can only assume he means XRP there. And so there was an article uh, posted about five hours ago, XRP should be practically used by Ripple and R3. Says SBI CEO Yoshitaka Katao, Ripple and XRP's partnership and updates have captured news headlines for quite some time. Now with the standout example being R3's tie up, with the Brad Garlinghouse led Ripple. Ripple has also been involved in partnerships with major banking conglomerates like SBI, the largest banking group in Japan. In a recent discussion by SBI, Yoshitaka Katao, the CEO of SBI, spoke about the partnerships and what it effectively means for the field of cryptocurrencies. He said that the main plan was to conduct full-scale increase of financial services using Corda and XRP. So increasing financial services at full scale. Okay, these are moving from, you know, the smaller kind of tests that they were doing, and they are basically growing these. They basically want to start the real-world adoption in 2019. Katow further added that the tie-up will reconcile and make the joint venture with XRP. In his words, the SBI R3 Japan will be established with the latest move. R3 has over 300 partners that will enable this to become very fruitful. R3's Corda is a distributed ledger technology whose provisional introduction is being supported by us. What's important is to make sure XRP is practically used by R3 and Ripple. And guys, that is the icing right there. XRP to be practically used by R3 and Ripple. So in Japan, we know cryptocurrency regulation has come to pass. There is no issue with using XRP um, in corridors in some Asian countries, like let's say, for instance, the Philippines to Japan. We know that there is no um, friction there at this moment. And by friction, I mean with regulation. I don't mean friction uh, in the way we hear it with regards to remittance payments, um, because the regulation has been sorted out over there. Now, we just need the United States to pull up their socks, get that regulation to happen so that we can see this worldwide spread of XRP utility happen sooner rather than later. According to the financial bigwig, the main focus right now is international money transfer and other areas such as international remittance. Katow further added that R3's Corda and XRP has a great affinity and the two can be used together for useful functions. He candidly admitted that Swift's partnership with R3 may have upset Ripple, but in his opinion was great news, which resulted in the market going up 13%. So he also said, Swift conducts almost 15,000 transactions every day with over 10,000 established partners. They have the technology and even Swift has recognized that they reached their limits. They have done everything they can. And with the R3 tie up, they have done the cost can be reduced. I guess that means uh, the costs can be reduced significantly. Yoshitaka Katao also stated that SBI will work together with regional banks and the processes can be transformed using R3's Corda. So guys, this R3 partnership with Ripple, huge news. Yoshitaka Katao saying they will be using XRP. The world will be eventually using XRP. It's just a matter of time. And regulation. The infrastructure's already set up. Uh, Rachel Lee also tweeted about this. Thought it was kind of interesting here. From SBI, Rachel Lee tweets, It's clear Ripple are just a remittance company for high volume, low value remittance payments. And we've heard this before. We've heard Ripple talk about how they're laser focused on remittance payments. And so she goes on to say, this is why XRP value value is not moving, but XRapid was not designed for high value payments. This is why R3 is involved. Look at the areas R3 will cover, high value targets. Uh, and she links this here. 
And guys, I'll link all this in the description if you want to look at it more closely. This is Ripple International Remittance, specialized in international remittance, okay? And then R3, the financial industry. And so we can see how all these industries overlap. Cryptocurrency, bonds, uh, derivatives, global cash management, syndicated loan trade, finance, repo trading, commodity crowdfunding, cross-border trade, point healthcare, real estate, guys. The list goes on and on. And so we know our three developing projects that are not limited to the financial industry by using smart contract based technology. So guys, this is going to go further than just the financial industry. XRP is going to be the cryptocurrency of choice. We've already seen the partnerships. Now we've just got to see the implementation. But I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.